Hey everyone! In today's episode, we're going to learn how to change the default 3ds Max version that opens when we double-click our 3ds Max files. When we have two or more 3ds Max versions installed on our computers, it is possible that when we double-click our Max files, the wrong version of the software is going to open. To solve this, we can use the Windows registry to change the version or to add additional versions to our right-click. The first thing we're going to do is press the Windows key plus R to open the Windows Run command window. Then we're going to change the input field to Red Edit and press the OK button. This is going to open the Windows Registry Editor. We're going to open the H key classes root 3ds mat shell open command. I'm also going to leave the path in the description. You can also copy and paste the path to the address bar at the top of the window. Double click the default entry to open the stream values. If you don't have a custom 3ds Max folder installation, the only thing we need to replace is the 3ds Max version. For example, if I want to open 3ds Max 2020 by default, I need to change 22 to 20 and press the OK button. Now, every time that I run a Max file, 3ds Max 2020 is going to open by default. We can also create a custom entry, so when we click the file, we can choose the version to open. To do this, right-click the shell folder and select New Key. We're going to add a new name to the key. For example, Open Match 2020. Then right-click the Open Match 2020 key and select New Key. Then we're going to change the name to Command. Double-click the default entry and in the value data, enter the path of the 3ds Match file. In this case, I'm using the standard one. C Program Files Autodesk 3ds Max version, then 3ds Max.exe. And it's really important to have percentage one at the end of the path. Now, if we right-click a Max file, we have a new option called Open Max 2020. With this, we can have as many entries as we want. And with this option, we can open our Max files in the correct version of 3ds Max. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.